another video upload from Aspie with Attitude. If you're watching this for the first time, my name is David, I'm from Melbourne, Australia. I have autism, I have some speech difficulty, a speech impairment, and a speech impairment, and I have spoken syndrome, and that's why I call myself an Aspie. And welcome to episode 276. I just couldn't think of a name of this video, so I'm gonna call this one Autism and Doctors. If you like what I'm doing here, you wish to show more support to my YouTube channel, Aspie of Attitude, please, why not subscribe to my channel? That's all I've ever asked for in terms of support. And for more videos like this, you can always ring this notification bell if you want to keep up to date with Aspie of Attitude. And also, please, don't forget to like and share this video content. That way, you're showing more support for this channel. Because I'm gonna get into it right now. It was on the 15th of January, 2023. I woke up on Sunday morning with a painfully irritating foot wart, which was on my right foot. And this foot wart, which was on my right foot, did feel like that I had a nail heavily impaled on through my bottom my foot. Instead of seeing a doctor beforehand to have my wart removed, so like, I went to my local grocery store and I'll just show you a product that I have. So like, I've got the freezer foot remover, which happens that I thought it was a good idea at a time to save a bit of time hassle having to run around to see a doctor. And if I come closer to the camera here, because like, if you're getting focused a bit, where my finger is pointing, that's how the foot wart did look like. So I want to sit down and Pretty much shop stops showing you this. So like, I just thought using this do-it-yourself freeze water remover kit was an ideal thing, but it just turned out to be a very big mistake. A week after self-treating this foot wart, my right foot got infected. Instead of a wart, I came down with ulcers on the bottom of my right foot, which almost put my planned holidays for March 2023 into total chaos, enough to put me on an autistic meltdown when I had to feel that I had to cancel my holidays. I only just wish that I actually did get professional help to get rid of a foot wart, since I had spent two weeks limping, and when my foot was infected with ulcers, it was very irritating and more painful than a foot wart. It did feel like that I'm walking on some toxic sludge. And since I was actually pretty much having a walk on the edge of the foot here, cause like it was actually around there. So I do want to put my body weight on it. And one thing I could not do, despite in Australia, since we go through summer is, I could not go for a swim or go on any of my nature walks. So like, I did eventually, two weeks after when I noticed that my foot was infected, I finally seeked professional medical treatment from the doctors. And what I had been told was, this was to take about six weeks to heal. And I'll tell you what's cool about it. At the time I was filming the contents for episode 276, what you're watching right now, my foot has appeared to be healed by 90% so which makes me feel happy but worse could have came to worse is if I had neglected that foot ulcer it could have led to amputation which I don't want to really talk about at all so like after I learned my lesson not to self treat anything that requires any professional medical treatment well since I'm not a doctor well it just happens that I'm an autistic YouTube creator who says warning you about that you should be seeing your doctor for things like this, because like, I once even knew an autistic individual back in January 1998, had rarely visited his doctor, and he was only in his mid-70s, and he actually died from a diabetic attack 
without knowing that he had diabetes and never seen any doctors who could have professionally diagnosed him to have some kind of diabetes. Since that you're watching Autism and Doctors, there are plenty of autistic individuals who would fear going for visits to doctors and even for vital health checkups. It's not just autistic individuals, there are neurotypicals who may fear doctors too. For autistic individuals who fear doctors can be based upon maybe traumatic experiences when having visits to certain specialists such as ABA providers and I'm talking about Applied Behavioural Assessment Specialists since that I do hear a lot of nasty things happening and how they can sometimes crush the human spirit of an autistic individual which I'll talk more about another time and to say on the subject though often I may assume it is likely that autistic individuals are more common to fear doctors than those who are neurotypical. Well, I think that sounds very plausible, doesn't it? To verify this, what I had said, you can also leave a comment down below, and that opinion that I had to express isn't etched in stone at all, and that's what I'd like you to hear from you, just to verify this at least, since I haven't been receiving much comments in my videos lately, at the time when I uploaded episode 276, for the start of March 2023. And now, this gives me a chance to question myself. Do I fear doctors as an autistic individual and live on the autism spectrum? I do not fear doctors, and I do see doctors regularly since that no one are bulletproof from any possibilities, like how I had my right foot infection in February 2023. All thanks to seeing the doctor to look at my foot infection, it was on the 18th of February 2023 that my right foot was almost fully healed from that foot ulcer and that foot infection. And at a time when I was filming this video, I did last see my doctor on Valentine's Day and don't impress how fast that my body actually healed from the foot infection. And I even, in the last 18 months, not only that, that I had my coronavirus vaccinations and my flu shots, like I had other general health checks and at the time this video upload, I still do not have cancer and I do not have diabetes, which means at the age of 43 years old, I'm still very, very fit at the moment. But whatever health complications I have, I can say not today, even at the time this video upload. Well, the point of this video is that you shouldn't fear doctors at all. They're there to help you, and all thanks to seeing the doctor, I would still have my ulcers infecting my right foot, and I wouldn't be able to do any walk with me or any of these time for a swing videos. And please, do not be afraid of doctors. And I said earlier, for this other autistic individual who died from a diabetic attack, may have or had de deliberately avoided doctors and probably it were due to sensory challenges. And I can remember this autistic individual that he was known to wear shorts all year round, the same way I do wear my tracksuit pants all year round. As I may assume that what makes this other person similar to me is that we just don't feel much pain and we can climatise since we do everything in our power to be in our favourite clothes all year round. Well anyway, this is just where my story ends. So like, I didn't know what to call this video apart from calling this Autism and Doctors. Since it's just pretty brief and it's just a bit of a talk about how my, how my foot infection, say from the 15th of January 2023, up till the 15th of February 2023 in the last month. Since there were certainly dark times then, and those are gonna be happy times, and I just hope I'll get on my holidays in March 2023. And also, at least I got ahead of my, on my video channel when I couldn't walk properly. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to Aspie Attitudes. 
Don't forget to see a doctor, peace and respect, and see you next time, and please look after yourself.